I thought I would get on and do a fun little project using one of the retiring in May in colors Watermelon Wonder, as well as one of the celebration stamp sets that um, will be retiring at the end of March. And um, my, our base will be with Mint Macaron, which is a in color that's retiring. We will be using Watermelon Wonder with accents of So Saffron, Knight of Navy, and then the um, designer series paper um, from the Affectionate or Love and Affection um, suite. We'll be using, um, I think it's called the Pansy Punch, but I'm going to probably get that wrong. So I'll, I'll list it in the bottom of the screen, all the items and the numbers um, for any of the items that we use today. I'll put on the screen for us. I'm using the Stitched Shapes Framelits um, that has that really, really cool stitched look to it. Um, I'm going to use the Layering Overalls Framelits, some snail adhesive, some dimensionals, glue dots, and then we're going to use this really pretty um, copper metallic thread because in this really cool DSP there is copper um, foil in that paper. So let's put our project together. Okay, first we are going to get out our Watermelon Wonder ink pad. We're going to open it just like so. Click it closed. And then we are going to use um, the stamp that says Hooray um, from the Reverse Words stamp set. And when I get my clear mount stamps, that's what this um, is called. These are clear mount stamps, and they come like this. So they don't come with the wood blocks. They just come with the red rubber. And what I do is I just peel the backing off of the back, and I just stick it to my case. Um, and that way when I'm using it, all I just have, all I have to do is peel that up and stick it directly on my clear block. Most of the stamps will come, well, all of the clear mount stamps will come with these stickers. And they're made so that you can peel them off and put them on the back of your stamp. But I find um, that I just, I don't need the stickers and I can put it right where I need it to go. Um, sometimes with the stickers, um, they lose their stickiness and then if that's the case, um, all you need to do is add some glue, um, like a two-way glue pin or um, our Tombow Mono glue um, to make it so that it will still stick to your clear blocks. Um, but because I've done this um, for a while and I kind of know what the stamp looks like, I don't really feel like the sticker is necessary for me, and that's just a personal preference. So what I'm going to do is I stuck my, my stamp to my clear block, and this is block E. It says on the little blocks there, this is Stampin' Up's um, acrylic blocks. And I am using um, shimmery white paper. You can't really see up close. Um, but I'm going to ink up my stamp just by holding it upside down um, with the Watermelon Wonder ink. And I just want to make sure that I don't have any lines in there. Okay, so I've inked up my stamp, and this is made to look sort of like watercolor. So it's not going to be super, super clear, and it is okay if it looks um, kind of washed out. But we're just going to hold our stamp down, and I've put um, my piercing mat underneath it, um, and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a rub. Um, on that area, but I don't want to stamp down too hard because sometimes with the red rubber stamps, you can get the edging um, will we'll, um, stamp down with that. So that is perfect. So it's going to look a little bit washed out, um, but that's just the way the stamp was designed and that is perfectly fine. So we're going to put that aside. And then we're going to use our stitched shapes framelits. And I'm gonna put that right over the top there um, to cut out um, around that stamp. So we'll get out our Big Shot. All right, I have my Big Shot out. And now I'm going to put um, our image down on my Big Shot as well as the stitched shapes framelits. And I'm gonna put that on 
just like that. Then I'm going to take my clear plate um, and put it on top of my image and my platform. I'm using the magnetic platform, which is also, um, it also has the precision base plate um, on top of the magnetic platform. Um, and I just, I like the way that it holds down the dies. So um, I have that all ready. So here's how it's going to look. You just punch it out and it'll have that really, really cool stitched shape um, around it. So I think that came out super, super cute. All right. So now we're going to go on to the next thing that we want to use with our big shot. And we're using the layering ovals framelit. So we'll put that through and this one, we don't have to match up perfectly. We'll just put it on the top there with our clear plate. And I'm going to try not to have my hands in the way. Okay, try not to bonk into the camera there. Okay. So that is going to look just like this. Perfect. So now when we layer that image on top, it's going to have a little bit of a window of that crumb cake um, just around the edge there. So it's a really fun border around there. So that's all that we need our big shot for today. Okay, now we're gonna get out our flower punch and I flip mine upside down. And I'm gonna take my watermelon wonder and I'm gonna put it in the bottom corner and then you just push till it pops out. I'm gonna do two of them. So I just line that up just like that. And I love Stampin' Up's punches. They are so, so easy to do. Um, they give a really, really good cut. And then when you are putting them away, you just push it down and you slide and it will lock. And then they just um, store flat just like that. But then you can see in the front what punch it is. And so you can have them stacked. Um, I usually have mine stacked up and down like this inside of my little cart that I carry around and then I can see which one I need and just pull it out. It's so, so easy. Um, we're going to use this actually one more time on the Knight of Navy cardstock. So I'll pull that up just like that in the bottom corner. Two hands, punch, and then one more time. The reason I'm punching out more than one is I'm going to make two of this card um, and then I'll do the other one a little bit later. Okay, so now I have all of our pieces kind of laid out on top of each other and I know that I want to add the flowers on um, probably, um, we'll probably do this corner and then I'm just kind of going to bend the flowers. Um, up and kind of crease them, pinch them just so that they have a little bit of body to them. So I just am pinching them kind of inward. So it's going to kind of look like that. And then we'll do the same to the Knight of Navy. We'll pinch, pinch, pinch. Okay, and then we'll bend those up. So we're going to probably um, use the navy. Um, I think I like it on top actually. Since we have our words um, and our, we use the watermelon wonder for our words, we're going to just um, add that on just like that underneath. And we're going to actually put a little glue dot with our glue dots here. These glue dots are really, really cool and they come in a pack of 300 and they last a really long time. So we're gonna put a glue dot right on the back there and we're gonna kinda of tilt our flower just like that. So we'll put our glue dot aside and now we'll use my bone folder um, to give this a nice tight crease there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we will get out my snail adhesive and 
adhere these layers right on to our base one at a time. So this is a So Saffron, and we're gonna put, this is gonna be the tiniest, tiniest little border around the card. So we'll do that just, oopsie. We're gonna put the tiniest little border around the card, so we'll adhere that down on both of those, and then we can smooth that out. So it's gonna give a really, really tiny border over the top of that. I'm really, Sorry if you can hear my dog. Apparently he took that moment to get his really, really long drink after lunch. So, you know, it happens. We're just gonna roll with it. So then we're gonna take this really, really pretty designer series paper and again, give it the tiniest little border around. And I will put the measurements for these on the screen so that you can see the measurements. But that's kind of how it's gonna look um, with a really tiny border around it. We are going to take our hooray, and that was a mistake that I had made um, while I was practicing my stamp, just to see how I wanted it to look. And now we're gonna take it and just kind of line it up so that we have the same amount of the border all the way, and we have used our snail adhesive to adhere that down. And now we are going to use some of this really, really cool copper metallic thread. Okay, so I'm gonna take this metallic thread. This is the copper color. And I just kinda take some right in my hand there and I hold on to it with one finger. Sometimes I'll stretch my fingers out just to kinda make my circle a little bit bigger. So I usually like to go around probably five times. Um, and then I'm gonna take my paper snips, which I forgot to take the lid off, and I'm gonna snip right there. And so I just am kind of pinching the edge just like that. And I'm going to actually tape um, with some scotch tape. Let's see which side do I want it on. I'm going to tape it so that it's kind of coming out that left corner in the top. So I'm going to take you some scotch tape just a little bit just to hold it on. And I'm going to take it and put it right there. And then it'll be coming out all those different angles, but it just adds something really cool to the card um, on that side there. So that'll look kind of like that. And you can do it as messy or um, fix it if, if you want, but I just kind of wanted to add a little bit of shimmer to the card and then I'll show you at the end what that's going to look like. So we are going to put some Stampin' Dimensionals um, on the back of this and you can go over the top of your um, thread um, a little bit if you'd like to. So I just peel the backs off of those dimensionals just like that. Oh, I'm sorry, I bumped ya. And now we're gonna put it a little bit up on that edge in that corner. Okay, so now that we have our word and our, our sentiment and our thread on the card, we're gonna actually take our dimensionals, and we just need one, and we're gonna put it right here in that bottom left corner. And we'll take that off, and then right when we have our flower right where we want it, right there, so that you can still see our word, we're gonna put that down so you can kinda see back there, that it's right where we need it to be. And so now I'm gonna try something that I haven't done before. Um, I didn't do this on the card when I practiced, but just to add a little bit more um, um, shimmer on top of our flower, we're going to use this thread again. And I'm just going to take um, probably about 
that much. I'm going to kind of spin it around two fingers, just like that. And I'll trim off those edges. And I'm going to pinch. Okay. So I'm going to take it, wrap it around, and we kind of want it to look kind of like a button. But we're going to take more of our glue dots and put it right on the back of our foil and kind of smush it on just like that. It doesn't really need to be perfect, but we can always trim those edges off when we're done. But I kind of want to put it right in the center there and then we'll just kind of smush our foil our foil thread down on top of that glue dot just to add a little more shimmer I think that came out so cute you can kind of add like little um, gathers there and it kind of looks like a flower actually on the top of it so I'm going to trim off this one there just like that all right so that is our finished card um, super super quick but it was using the reverse words um, stamp set that is a celebration item and that will actually be retiring at the end of March 